the McDonald's sign. The McDonald's sign made it look very bad because I totally messed up in putting that on. My It'll look much better this time. So, yeah. So this is the kind of, this is the colors of clay you will be needing. All right, now let's get started. Okay. Now, we're going to start out with our bond color. Sorry, I'm going to need, I'm going to clear this plate. Too. I'm doing this on my carpet. So it looks, it's going to get all over my carpet. Clean up my carpet. Ah. It's like sticking to my carpet. <laughs> okay. So, sorry for that little message. Um, you're going to be taking this. Again, you don't know what colors to mix if you um, missed that part of the video or you didn't quite understand the colors are yellow, tan, and brown. All right. So, you're going to take it and you're just going to rip it in half. Make sure you rip it evenly in half. That was a fail at evenly ripping it, but that's okay. Now you're going to roll out two cylinders. There's one cylinder. And the second cylinder. Alright, so you've got your two cylinders. And you're going to take them, and you're gonna, your cylinders, and you're going to flatten the cylinders out. All right, now if I'm going to quickly just pause the video. Remember, you should have paused the video for when you were mixing the colors. Okay. So then, I will be making the lettuce. I've made my lettuce. I will make my lettuce into a cylinder. Then, I'm going to flatten my lettuce out very thin. Well, not super thin, but, you know, that thin. Then I'm going to take this little, clean it off, this little choppy stick tool so it makes a little rigid edges. Now, sorry if I'm blocking the camera. Alright, sorry for that noise in the background. My father is, um, um, like, our, my dad's closet flooded and so... He's fixing it. So, yeah, we don't have any water. We do, but we did not have any water. So, then we've got, oh, we've always had water, but it just, my dad had turned it off. So, yeah. So, I made the little um, salad. You could kind of give it a little regid. But, you know, all you're going to be seeing is these sides. You aren't going to actually be seeing this. It's not like we're going to lay this out and be like, make a hamburger, you know, and make it. Unless you're going to do that, that would be fun. But, yeah. So then what you're going to do is you can either choose what order you would like to put them in. If you would like to put the lettuce at the bottom, go ahead and do that right now. But if you would not like to, don't do it right now. Okay. So then I'm going to move on to my little uh, meat component. I'm just kidding. My um, meat, and you're going to those two. roll it out into a cylinder, and then... Take that cylinder, and you're going to kind of smush it down like that. Now, let's see the comparison. See that that looks fine. Okay. So, you've got your meat there. All right. So, now I'm going to take my cheese. My cheese definitely has got to be cut. We don't want circular cheese. That's not cool. It's not a very good knife. Sorry, but I gotta make it even. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry for moving the camera. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna clear these little cheese pieces. Alright, so now these are basically the same as the cheese and this is lettuce. People would know that. Then your ketchup has to be super thin. You do not want your ketchup, ketchup to take over. Nobody likes too much of a ketchup -y. So then you want to make it sort of, you don't want to make it perfect, so I'm just going to kind of rip it off, sort of like that. So this is all I've got left, basically. Something simple. Alright, so now I'm going to put all of it together. Okay. So 
if you guys can see all of it, it's kind of messy, but I'll kind of put my plate this way. So, um, this is going to be my bottom one, and this is going to be my top one. So, I'm going to take my top one and move it, and now I'm going to take this, and I will put my lettuce on top of that. You can do it in different order, whatever, however you would like. Then, I'm going to put my meat. Then, I'm going to put my cheese. Then, I'm going to lather that ketchup on. There we go. So, now it's got this cute little ketchup. You might want to kind of bend it over the sides. So, it makes it... Sorry for that talking in the background. So, it makes it like that, if you guys can even hear that. Like that, so you will be able to see it. Now, you're going to take your top and put it on. You can kind of smush it down just a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of roll it out. Not too much because otherwise this, you see, it will kind of take over. So don't roll it out too much. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to take my ballpoint tool. This is humongous. I know. I got a smaller one. I just lost it somewhere. And you sort of add little details to it. You know, something sort of like that. Perfect. There's my little hamburger. Um, that was my first one, and this is my second one. I sort of like that one almost better. But that's probably because it's got glaze and it's been cooked. It looks much better with glaze. All right, so there. Now we are made that and we're going to move on to the french fries the french fries i find is super easy now what you're gonna well it's sort of um now what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix yellow and tan da, 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 da. perfect i've got it my mix i'm just kidding i already had it mixed all right so then what you're gonna do is you're going to smush this into a flat um a flat and be about that flat. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very risky. Not really risky. But I'm going to actually make this into sort of a square like shape. A square like shape. So it's like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one, two, three, four. And if I fit five, yes, five. Oops, that chopped off, whatever. So now, here's not the hard part, but I guess one of them. So then you're going to kind of take it and you're going to cut about the tops off, the tips off. So mine looks like that. And now you're going to match it up perfectly with the line there. And you're going to sort of, sorry if you guys can't see this, but... You're going to put it on there so it should look double like that. I'll show you one more time. You're going to cut right there. So I shave this off so see it's on there. And move this back. Set it on there. Alright, I'll move this over. Perfect. So that looks strange now, but we are not, obviously, we are not done. Now... Got my fries, and I'm gonna take my redness, and I'm basically, basically going to take and cut, cut off the edge there, just like that. Cut off the edge there, so it's just one big long strip. There we go. So now I'm gonna kind of line that up right there. And you can kind of fold it down. All right. So then I'm going to take my little bit of yellow and I'm going to kind of roll it out into a very long, thin snake. All right. No. Cut that. Cut that, and I'm going to. Sort of put it into a, oh my gosh, a diagonal line. 
And what we're doing is making the M right now. Obviously, you guys probably should know that. But I'm just telling you if you don't. Alright, so see, ah, you can't even see this, that's alright, there, we'll move that a little closer to you, you guys hopefully saw the other part, I know you saw that, so yes, I made a little ring, if you guys didn't see this, you guys made a little ring, and I just put some red there, and then I put the M, the M is bad, but that's okay, because I'm terrible at making letters out of palm clay, perfect, we've got our little fries there, and we've got our um, hamburger. Once you're done cooking it, I have not actually cooked it yet, but I will. I'm going to take my paintbrush and put a little sculpey glaze on it. Got a little, and you can do that to all of it. Okay. Okay, so once that is dry, you should have a very um, cute, um, what would you call it, cute ending. I will be right back. I'm going to go grab a, a paper clip. Um, here's a hint. Well, before you... I just needed the smallest paper clips you could possibly find. All right, so before you cook it, I gotta stop you guys. Before you cook it, you gotta do this. You wanna make it into a necklace. You're gonna take, you're gonna take a paper clip and you're gonna put it in from this side. So instead of putting it this long way, put this. One. All right, I'm gonna start by my hammer guard. Just easily push it in there. You can put glue right there. I'm not. I'm gonna do risky. Some people may say it's not really that risky. And you're just going to take some tan color. I know it's going to be totally opposite. But I've got it on the top of this one. Too, you can barely, it, it's going to be hanging like this. So, you know, you cannot tell. And you're just going to basically sort of make sure that that's stuff on there. There we go. It's kind of like tape. And then you're going to use... Put your paper clip in, and this time you're going to take the back, and you're just going to slide it in. You'll even tell on the back here, just sort of. Perfect. So I'm going to take some yellow. And I've got to be so careful so I don't squish the back. I'm going to actually flatten some yellow out. Flatten some yellow out. And just lay that yellow. All right, perfect, so it looks like that now. Now, cook it, and then glaze it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, give this a thumbs up, and comment what you guys think I should do for my next polymer clay, or anybody from Fantastic Five. I will probably not do it. I'm at Malaysia, or you know anybody else that's much better than me will do so. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.